What internet marketing expert should you spend your valuable time listening to? Listen to someone who has over 20 years of web marketing experience and hundreds of website marketing success stories. That man is Aaron Sparks from Site Strategics. And this is Edge of the Web Radio. Okay, hey, you know what we're talking to, um, we've been talking about uh, a fundraising uh, event here locally, a cause called Cottages for Kids, and a part of um, what I wanted to do, what we wanted to do at Site Strategics was provide uh, this group with some mentorship, and we actually uh, tapped somebody on the shoulder that uh, we came across at Mixed West um, the 2014. His name is Steve Shattuck. Hello. Hello, Steve. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. Thanks for having me. You're more than welcome. Uh, you know, you actually hearken from a site called Bloomerang. Bloomerang. And uh, Bloomerang is actually something kind of special, kind of unique in the sphere of, of, of customer relationship management mm-hmm. tools. Tell me a little bit about the, so- the, the software and uh, also what you were able to, uh, what you've been able to accomplish here in the last few years with the, with the organization. Yeah, Bloomerang's a, a CRM for nonprofits, mm-hmm. so it has a, a fundraising uh, bend to it. Uh, yeah, it's a, d- a database that people uh, can keep track of all their donors, volunteers, mm-hmm. uh, anyone who supports the organization. They can uh, take donations. They can record any activity that person may have with the nonprofit, uh, and they can do all their outbound communications. So you can send your acknowledgement letters, your emails, mm-hmm. uh, and all those kinds of things. We've got a lot of cool features, um, and we're focused on retention. So we show you how many donors are actually retained year to year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we show you how engaged an individual donor is. That's fantastic. Yeah, at any given time. So you can see, hey, maybe this donor... Um, Whether is, they're married or not? Yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. Well, we don't we <laughs> don't give, you, we don't you, give you any of that data. <laughs> No, but yeah, continue. I'm yeah, sorry. no, that's fine. Um, like, if for example, if 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 maybe a donor is maybe looking like they're going to lapse, stop yeah. giving, you can the system kind of triggers you to say, hey, maybe you should call this person mm-hmm. and see what's going on. Or the opposite, if someone suddenly gives a big gift, uh, you can you can do something and, and say, hey, you know, what's going on here? You know, thanks so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it'll really give you a view of who your donors are and, and how engaged they are. For some of you that may actually know other customer relations so- relationship management software, it's very similar to and no plug for the company, but it's <laughs> kind of like Salesforce mm-hmm. for fundraisers for nonprofit organizations yeah. to be able to connect and reach and be all, also be able to lift up those donors, right? So Definitely. there's a communication tool involved there as well. Absolutely. Uh, you can do uh, email, you can do all your letters, um, and it'll help you generate those sort of offline things too, you know, phone calls, mm-hmm. you know, handwritten notes, things like that, uh, as well as all the, the digital communications. Oh, very cool. Mm-hmm. Very cool. So uh, how has this been uh, accepted in, in into uh, the nonprofit spheres of fundraising yeah it's been pretty well accepted you know there are a lot of sort of legacy brands in the space um large companies that sort of have a a monopoly uh over the space Mm -hmm. and and what comes with that is not a lot of innovation we see so there was a a big uh, opportunity in the space for us to come up with sort of a a lightweight product uh, that's really focused on best practices rather than uh, every feature under the sun, you know, we don't get into a feature war with with any of our competitors necessarily. And you know, we bring we brought on a lot of thought leaders uh, to design certain aspects of the system, which is definitely a new thing in the marketplace. Oh, so um, yeah, it's been very well received. We've got uh, almost 500 customers in under two years. Uh, so we're feeling really good about it. That's pretty successful. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we certainly uh, applaud you in the growth, and we are looking at, uh, we're going to be watching that software grow and, and uh, just watch your career. But uh, we came across uh, you at uh, Mix West, and immediately whenever we started to talk to Cottages, you were the person I wanted to connect yeah. with and see if you, you would be able to give some time to, to the group to be able to yeah. give some stewardship. So. Steve went on a uh, came in on on, a, on the go to meeting or a, a Google Hangout. Hey, got to use that, right? Nice. <laughs> Integrated uh, in Google Apps now. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. There's the squirrel. Did for somebody you guys. just pay you for that? No, <laughs> <laughs> I just got the email this week. <laughs> well, uh, can you tell us a little bit about some of the tips that you gave uh, 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 the 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 teens that yeah. were in our office the other day? Well, it's pretty amazing. You know, even maybe twenty, even ten years ago, what they were doing, what they are doing, would be really daunting, yeah. right? Two hundred thousand yeah. dollars from three high schoolers or, or college students, but now with all these tools, um, it's not that daunting mm-hmm. of a task, actually. And I have no doubt that they'll be successful you know there's social media tools uh there's tools like boomerang you know peer-to-peer mm-hmm. uh text to give all those things they can harness um but it, it you know it, it's easy to get caught up in the tools but 
the best thing that they're good at is telling the story, right? They have a meaningful story. Absolutely. They have a passion. And as long as they communicate that, I think they'll be successful. Absolutely. And that peer-to-peer concept, mm-hmm. tell me a little bit briefly about that and how well it's going to work with this yeah. group of teens. Well, you're seeing it with the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, right? right. That is a form of peer-to-peer without a, a tool necessarily. But there are a lot of tools that will facilitate that. So really it's just someone else who does not work for the nonprofit but who might believe in the cause right. doing the fundraising for the nonprofit rather than just the employees or the volunteers uh, doing all the fundraising themselves. So what you're seeing is uh, you can harness social media to get a lot of people mm-hmm. fundraising for the organization uh, while you sort of sit back and, and coach them uh, and guide them and, and, and you know watch the donations pour Fantastic. in. So it's, it's really amazing how viral... Uh, things can spread with a cause. Well, was Steve's advice helpful for you, for you ladies? Definitely. Excellent. Well, I'm sure we're going to be able to keep the contact going and the communication going. We're going to absolutely watch you guys and be able to give you guys some great advice as you get in there. All right, remember to text 41444, the word cottages, and your pledge. You'll see how well the social media tools can actually u- be used for these type of causes. It's very easy to deploy, and we'll be probably talking about th- to that company a little bit later in the future. Thank you, everybody.